Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubifier. On the 8th of February, 2024, CIG released Inside Star Citizen expanding branding. Here's what you need to know. First, as a public service announcement, it's Valentine's season. CIG often does this little promo around this time. A bunch of ships that are not normally available are now available, and there are paint skins. Most of them are themed in red. Buy with your brain and remember that nobody needs to pay real money for any of this stuff, and that CIG maintains artificial scarcity as some kind of psyops warfare on your brain to get your money. And you're the adult with a credit card, so you cannot be upset with me or at them if you end up with buyer's remorse in the future. Be the adult. PSA over, we continue. Jared introduced the topic, branding team in Montreal. We got a personal history from Nicolas Fortin, who spoke about his onboarding in Montreal. He said he spent some time looking into and researching the last 10 years of work, all of the various styles of branding and the sheer depth of it. Moving forward, he wanted to tackle the future while respecting the past. The in-game branding is so much more than just art. It's the feeling. Francis and Stephanie emphasize the impact on the player experience, the environments, and the immersion. You feel like you're living in a living world. Branding team must work with the lore team and together the real potential is realized. Players identify with ship brands and the team is even more focused on locking down the distinct and key features for each. They spoke about building and maintaining style guides, text, shapes, color, the signature of the brand. Drake was said to be a bit of a mess as it was one of the older ones. Lots of work had been done to consolidate the black and red message. There were efforts to massage the legacy art on the website and of course, moving into the future, all of that will be dialed in. Crusader is blue and white and a giant influence on Orison. They spoke about the new communication channels that they built and the tools that are used by the entire development team. There's a new brand catalog that's used by CIG employees for those who need it. Logos, colors, the essence of the various parts. They spoke about the unique challenges for Pyro, specifically graffiti and what things would look like after they're left alone and allowed to become run down. Dirty layers of spray paint have really locked down the scene and it further sells the immersion to the player. There are brands for the gangs and factions to let you know that you may not be in the right place or a place that you want to be in. And of course, gangs have gang colors and tattoos that are unique to all of them. And all of that is preserved within the style guides. And that's it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.